For decades, we thought the first Americans arrived 12,000 years ago. But this place, it changes everything. But first, let's introduce Jake, a budding rock enthusiast. We found this on our first rock. And next, let's introduce Becky, a gemologist with 30 years in the jewelry trade. Okay then, now back to this 20,000 year old discovery found right here in Texas. Some people are now calling these sites the cradle of North American civilization. So this is where the old timey smart people came to hopefully find a career that didn't involve working in the hot Texas sun the rest of their lives? Uh, you could say that. This is the site of the Salado College founded in 1859, the same year as the city of Salado was incorporated. But would you believe it if I told you that archaeologists have discovered that people have been living here for a long time before Salado was even thought of? Take a guess how long? Uh, a thousand years? Nope. 20,000 years. Welcome to the Galt site, just north of Austin on what looks like an ordinary patch of pasture, lies one of the most extraordinary archaeological discoveries in the Western Hemisphere. From what I understand, is the spot where it all changed. That is exactly what happened. Uh, and it changed archaeological understanding as we've known it to this date. We now know that early humans were not in Central Texas 13,000 years ago, but as much as 20,000 years ago. But this site was officially excavated in 1929, the first time. But it really, not much came of it until 2008. And a gentleman associated with UT bought it up because he realized that there was a lot of important archaeology here. And he said, I got to hold on to this until somebody can figure it out. So today we have it known as the Galt Archaeological Site. And we've learned from this site, uh, some of the earliest peoples in the North American continent started right here in the Galt site. And there's proof archeologically that this site has been probably been continuously occupied for the last 20,000 years. For centuries, the Clovis people first discovered in New Mexico were believed to be the earliest to roam Southern North America around 13,000 years ago. But deep near Austin, Texas, the Galt site quietly reveals an even older story with early humans living here thousands of years years before the Clovis ever arrived. Okay, so how are we finding that out? Is it because of the depth of these artifacts that they're finding underneath the soil? The depth of the artifacts, the type of the stonework. In fact, I was really shocked when you start talking about archaeology and technology together. But the truth is those two things intersect right here at the Galt site. So it turns out early humans were here in Central Texas 20,000 years ago, way earlier than anyone thought. But the big question is, why here of all places? What made this land the perfect spot for the first footsteps in North America? Let's find out. So what about this spot made it to where you know people wanted to live here? I think ancient culture wasn't any different than modern day culture. When you get ready to make a move, you look for food, you look for natural resources, and you look for a place that's gonna give you basically all the comforts of home. And that's kind of what you have here. You have an abundant landscape, lots of natural vegetation, you've got a constant supply of water, and you have chert. Whoa, oh. is this chert? <laughs> Did you bring a hammer? I got it in the car. Let's crack this open. Ooh, that one came out of part. So we got this little guy. I wouldn't say it's like an arrowhead but I would say that it's extremely sharp for a rock that I just hit with a hammer. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this is what we've been looking for. This is chert. Okay. And this is, if you're a kid in Central Texas, you've probably spent at least part of one summer looking at arrowhead, looking for arrowheads in somebody's pasture. Definitely. Yep. And so this is what ancient peoples use, this material to make cutting tools. You want to see, can you want to see the edge of this? You should really see the edge of it because that is a sharp edge. And that's what you see on ancient cutting tools. And so this is the exact same rock that the ancient people that lived in this area used to make tools with. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that's the important part of places like the Galt School, the Galt site, because it proves that people lived here much earlier than, you know, archeologists really, really ever thought. Yeah, I, you're I gonna, find a nice groove right here. I'm gonna chisel it just like my, this. My, my, my hand is there. Just, just okay. saying. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want Do you trust me? Yeah. I'm not gonna hit you with the hammer. I trust you. All right. <laughs> oh, I did hit you. I lied. No, you didn't. You didn't. <laughs> okay. but, but see. Here we go. We got it split right down, right down the between the layers. So we got another super sharp. 
edge right here. And it broke. But having the perfect material for tools wasn't enough. Early humans couldn't survive without water, and the Galt site had it right beneath their feet. So we've been looking for this spring for a little while. Like, based off of what you can see, I'm looking at these giant limestone rocks here. This looks like, and then I don't know what that is, but this could probably be where we would find a spring. Well, maybe, but this whole area, because it's positioned in part of the Edwards Aquifer and it's part of this big limestone, massive formation, the springs uh, come from underground. So it's called an artesian spring. They're all over this part of central Texas. They literally pop up from underground because of the force that geology places on water that's trapped underground in the aquifer. So they literally bubble up from under the earth. I have a question for you. Okay. How sure are we that the creeks were like this in this spot 20,000 years ago? Because from what I understand, or at least this is like a new kind of theory, but the pyramids were next to water I don't know how controversial that is or not, but this was about 5,000 years ago, right? And so we're talking 20,000 years ago. This landscape could have changed a lot. You know, I think the truth is we don't know. We can only look at what's left over and guesstimate. I would be probably 100% sure at saying this particular format didn't exist back then. But what we do know is this, this entire area of Texas is something called an ecotone, and it's also on uh, on top of one of the largest aquifers in the country, the Edwards Aquifer. So we know that water has been here in some form for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And we can look back at the presence of tools and you know different, different other things that tell us that ancient peoples did live here and quite earlier, earlier than, than has been previously thought. That's just a little bit of information about the Galt site. Uh, this part of Texas is known for a lot of quarries. The limestone here has been really significant, but that, that sort of geology has also produced something called chert. And that is something that's been very significant in this particular site. Over three million artifacts have been recovered from this site now that it's been converted into a proper archeological dig. And only 3% of the site has even been touched. So. Um, I should say that with a little asterisk because in the 1970s, this place was what we call pay to dig. You bring your bucket, you bring your shovel, you bring the kids, and you just spend all afternoon digging. And whatever you dig, you keep. So who knows how many people out there may have arrowheads or other artifacts from the Galt site. I think that for me, when you sit down and look at what we did today and what the many things that we saw, I think for me the thing that is top of mind is that, you know, we think we're, we're so different. We talked about people that have been in this area for 20,000 years. And when you are, you know, cracking open that rock and slicing open an onion that you picked off the side of the creek, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, maybe we're not so different from our ancestors, you know? What do you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I can imagine between people that were here slicing things open with rocks and, mm -hmm. and other people that were just like figuring out how to like hammer steel together to make a knife. And now we've almost got kind of the same technology, just a little bit further. And then who knows, like another, 2,000 years from now, there could be another, there could be people just hanging out next to this creek kind of doing the same sort of thing. That's true, that's true. Uh, but I think, I think over the whole course of the day, I think the lesson that we've learned is to stop and slow down for a second and look around you and ask yourself, how am I connected to these places and these things? Because when you get right down to it, we all just want the same thing. We all want a place where we can be happy and healthy and survive and enjoy life to the fullest as much as absolutely possible. So slow down, because the rocks have a story to tell you. If you enjoyed what we did today, Jake and I are gonna be along bringing you many other adventures in the future, so please give us a like, a follow, and a share. And if you have a suggestion about a place where you'd like to learn a little bit more about the story, mention it in the comments below. Galt Side is open to the public. You can walk the same land early humans did 20,000 years ago. Touch history, learn something new, see for yourself.